If you've already staked some Celestia or Tia tokens with Milky Way to get the Milk Tia liquid staking token, then you can actually hit a two for one airdrop by taking those tokens and using them with the Demex exchange, which is a DeFi platform. And they confirmed just the other day that if you deposit Milk Tia to the platform, you can also earn a DMX airdrop from Demex. And they actually also have a point system live right now where you earn points for the airdrop based on which assets you provide to the DeFi platform. And so in today's video, I'll walk you through step-by-step step what you need to do to provide your Milk Tia liquid staking tokens to Demex, and then you'll be able to qualify for both of those airdrops all at the same time. So the first step is to go to the Demex exchange and connect a wallet. I'm using Kepler for this. Now, when you get to this page where you're supposed to lend out your Milk Tia tokens, you may notice that it says available in wallet zero even though if I opened up my Kepler wallet here, I have 4.7. And the reason for that is first, we need to deposit some of the Milk Tia tokens that we have on the Osmosis network to the correct network for this, which is going to be Carbon. So in order to do that, once you're on this page, you can simply hit the deposit button and it will bring you here. So you can select the amount that you want to use and then hit deposit. Now, in order to pay for this transaction fee, which is an IBC transfer from the Osmosis network to the Carbon network, you have the option down here to pay for this gas fee in either the Osmo token, or if you click this button, you can choose to pay it in TIA natively or in Carbon SWTH token. So depending on which one of these you have in your wallet to pay for the transaction, you can select. And then I recommend clicking the high gas fee option because I've seen some comments of people suggesting that it goes through a lot better if you select high and it's still one penny for the transaction. Now, if you don't have any of those tokens in your wallet, I would be surprised because it would be difficult for you to have milk TIA tokens without having at least some TIA or some Osmo. But if for some reason you don't have any tokens that you can use to pay for gas, you can go to the Osmosis application here and you can actually swap. And so you can select from the list here which assets you actually have and then you can swap into the assets that you need. Anyways, going back to Demex, I will approve this transaction paying for it with some Osmo tokens and the deposit was sent. If I want to, I can click on this button here to pop up the blockchain explorer and track my transaction as it goes through the confirmation process. Now, if I open up my wallet, you'll see here that it says my Milk Tia is on the Carbon network, whereas it used to say Milk Tia on Osmosis. And if you are not seeing your balance of Milk Tia tokens in the wallet right here, it's probably because you have not yet added the Carbon network to your Kepler wallet or your Leap wallet or whatever wallet you're using. And if you find yourself in that position, you can go to the Carbon Networks Blockchain Explorer, hit on the login button here and connect your Kepler wallet and it will automatically add the network for you. So I'll throw a link to this down below the video just to make it easier for you. And if you're wondering how to navigate back to the page where you can actually lend out your Milk Tia tokens, you need to hit the Nitron tab up here. This shows you the dashboard of what you're lending and what you're borrowing. And down here, you can see the different assets that are available. And under Milk Tia, this is where you'll be able to lend this asset out. Now, if I go back to the original page where I want to lend out my Milk Tia tokens, it's actually updated. I have a balance in my wallet that is available for deposits and I can hit on the button here to make the deposit and to use it as collateral if I want to. Now, the issue is currently, even though I have the tokens ready to deposit, the deposit cap for the Demex exchange has been reached for the Milk Tia tokens. And it looks like they are gradually increasing the caps over time due to high demand for this because there's a lot of people trying to farm this airdrop. So what I recommend doing is monitoring the Demex Twitter page because they make announcements when they raise the deposit caps for Milk Tia. And then you'll be able to go back to the application and make the deposit. And when you do that, you'll be earning a nice APY on that in the SWTH token and you'll qualify for the DMX airdrop as well as the Milk Tia airdrop. Now, when it comes to actually borrowing against it, I don't necessarily recommend actually doing that. There's really high risks associated with that and you don't want your position to get liquidated. Anyways, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you'll be able to qualify for the DMX airdrop if they raise the deposit caps for Milk Tia. I personally will be monitoring their Twitter page to see if I can get in the next time that they raise the caps. So good luck and have a great day.